Hi there, my name is Dr. Evgeny Mikitiansky and I'm a gastroenterologist and hepatologist at Triboro Gastroenterology in Brooklyn, New York. We also have several other locations in student, including Staten Island and Bronx. Just a little bit about myself, I went to medical school at New York Institute of Technology, College of Osteopathic Medicine. I went to residency at NYU Winthrop Hospital and I did my fellowship in Coney Island Hospital right here in Brooklyn, New York. So I wanted to let you know uh, just a few things about some of the things that we do here at Tribro GI and some of the services that we offer uh, to our patients. Some of the things that we do here are uh, very unique to, to um, our practice. So we offer fructose breath testing, lactose breath testing, and these are things that can determine if you have any intolerances to common table sugar or fructose as well as lactose or, or common dairy products. We also do something called SIBO testing, or SIBO stands for Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth, where you have an overgrowth of bacteria inside your small intestine that can cause you a lot of different symptoms like bloating, diarrhea, and gas. Additionally, we're also, all of us are trained hepatologists, myself included, so we do something called the fibro scan right here in the office. A fibro scan is a special sonogram that non-invasively assesses uh, your degree of scar tissue and fat in your liver. This is a very, very good test for people with uh, fatty liver disease or hepatitis or anything that's, that's affecting their liver just to kind of get a baseline of how their liver health is. In addition, some of the other things that we do here are H. pylori testing that's non-invasive uh, by way of a breath test. And of course, you'll get your basic uh, GI services as well. We do endoscopy, colonoscopy, colorectal cancer screening, as well as non-surgical treatment of hemorrhoids, including infrared coagulation, uh, which is otherwise colloquially known as the lasering, uh, as well as rubber band ligation, uh, which is uh, also a very effective non-surgical treatment of internal hemorrhoids. And uh, many people suffer from this problem, so it's very, very good that we're able to take care of it uh, right here in the office. Uh, I wanted to uh, switch gears just for a second here, just to give you a, a, another thing that's very uh, near and dear to my heart, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, colorectal cancer screening. So I want to bring awareness to something that uh, many people may or may not know, uh, which is that the uh, average age of colorectal cancer screening has actually been lowered. It used to be 50 years old is the age that, at which you were recommended to have a screening colonoscopy, and I'll explain what that is in a second. Now that age is 45, and why is that? The reason for that is because unfortunately we're seeing a rise in the incidence of younger people with various types of cancers, including colon cancer. And this also includes gastric cancer, esophageal cancer, and other types of cancers that are not GI related, such as breast and ovarian, and so on. So the, our national societies have lowered the uh, colorectal cancer screening age to 45. Now this means that those five years are actually allowing millions of other people that were otherwise ineligible to be screened for colorectal cancer. Now this is very, very important. And what is a screening colonoscopy? A screening colonoscopy is a test that we do right here in the office where we actually are able to prevent people from getting colon cancer. It's a test where we actually visualize the walls of your colon and remove any growths that may be precancerous uh, in, and make sure that they never turn to cancer. So it's a very, very important part of the process, okay? You can look up our, our good friend Ryan Reynolds just posted on social media his colonoscopy experience. So if Ryan Reynolds is doing it, I think everyone should be doing it, right? So uh, that's very important, okay? So one thing that I wanted to impress upon you is that yes, it's very, very important to get screened. But one more thing that I would like to discuss is actually not ignoring symptoms. Now this is something that's a remnant of the COVID era. Now that we're practicing in the post-COVID era, so to speak, we're noticing that there was a lot of uh, there were a lot of situations where people were unfortunately neglecting their symptoms um, or alarm symptoms, as we call them, and not seeking out uh, the care of a gastroenterologist or a specialist uh, as it comes as it pertains to the problem that they were having. And because of that, we're seeing people that are now having diagnoses of cancer a little bit later than they would be. So the last thing I would like to press upon you is actually please listen to your body. If you're having any symptoms, okay? Symptoms means you don't have to wait till 45 to get a colonoscopy. Symptoms are abdominal pain, rectal bleeding, okay? 
um, a change in your bowel habits, a worsening constipation, a change in the caliber or the thickness of your stools. All of these things could mean something more serious going on. So I would like to, to call upon you, the, the people that are watching this, to reach out, give us a call, schedule an appointment. It's not up to you to figure out what's going on. It's up to us, and we're happy to take care of that for you. Okay, let us help you. Let us do that, okay? Uh, please uh, give us a call um, at our office uh, in, at Triboro GI at Sheepshead Bay, 1672, 1674 Sheepshead Bay Road. Our phone number is 718-332-0600. Give us a call today, schedule an appointment, ask us all of your questions. We're here to help. We want to keep you healthy, okay? So please, please, please don't wait, don't delay, take care of yourself and live a long and healthy and beautiful life and we're here to help with that. Thank you.